Hello everyone. Thank you for coming to the channel. Thank you for coming over here tonight. We're gonna make it short and sweet. Cha, and we're gonna be in Missyville. Yes, Missy Hotville. I have been trying to get to this video, but other videos <laughs> took presence and I just kept going, going, going with other videos. I forgot about this one, but we can't any longer. That's why I said, let me come up here and tape because we got to counsel somebody. Yes, Lord, we got to counsel Simon Eeyore Gabadia. I mean, how can you steal somebody's style? Do you really want to be Dennis? Do Portia want you to be Dennis? Because as far as I remember... Only Dennis was showcasing that Versace, okay? The Versace robe, okay? And he had Porsche in the background dancing. They were just swirling with each other, swirling with each other. Going on that surfboard like Beyonce. Surfboard, surfboard, grinding on that wood, grind, grinding on that wood. We know she ain't grinding on nothing with Simon Gabbadi. He can probably barely get it up. All right, because he quiet as kept. He said he 50-something, but he's 70-something, okay? And, and them damn cigars. Woo, child, his heart probably looked like black. It's probably black inside, y'all. Because he loved drinking on that brown liquor and smoking them damn cigars. But I was like, what in the world? He trying to do a fashion show over there. Did he go get that Versace robe from a flea market, from a jockey sale, uh, what else, a, a reduced place or something? Did Portia pay for that? Did Portia pay for that Versace robe? And out of all the robes you could possibly have, he going to go get a Versace robe? Something that her ex fiance, her ex boyfriend, her baby daddy. Whoa, y'all tell me who is trying to floss who? Dennis already ain't got no kind of style, you know what I'm saying? But he like taste. He got taste in art. He has taste in creating a vodka or a brow liquor. He has taste in what makes money. Now I'm like, how you gonna steal somebody's swag? Old ass Papa Smurf, Grandpa, Father Time. How can you steal a young man's swag? Next time, I mean, you got the bald head going. Dennis always already had a bald head. Y'all both dark skinned. Y'all both say y'all got money. We don't see Dennis. He be showing and proving and dropping down his businesses for people to come in and keep him af afloat. You see what I'm saying? We know what Dennis got. He can feed us. He can make us good drinks. And we can have some hookah on the side. We know where he is profiling, styling, and making his revenue. Okay? And he's been on several magazines as an entrepreneur striving. Okay? Now, I'm pretty sure Dennis had that conversation with you. Two businessmen talking out things you know, between his woman now, but again, Simon's getting his seconds. He's copying Dennis. He's being with Dennis, um, has been a girlfriend. He don't have to went through, her, had a baby by and, and moved on. And Simon's getting those seconds. You see what I'm saying? Because Dennis dipped in that before. Okay. And he tried to wife Porsche, but she cheated in that, right? You know, it just is what it is. She can't get let it go that he cheated but simon cheated also well, who's to say that he's not gonna cheat on porsche if he ain't already doing the do okay but i'm like the one person you would try to emulate simon why would you want to emulate dennis of all people okay he's the most relaxing man now who you should have been trying to compete with is that younger man he got the body he got the style he got the grace. And he got your ex-wife. <laughs> what a travesty. What a travesty. And how dreadful is that? Okay. You need to be trying to floss like him. You see what I'm saying? That's a whole different other brother. That's dressed in his age category. Got a little style. And he got your woman. <laughs> he got your woman, Simon. Look at him. And he could dress in plaid and look preppy. Why 
why you looking your age was about 70 some years old and you need to be sitting your ass down somewhere now you promised this young lady a dream on a hope and a prayer that you would definitely be there for her three kids Yep, those three. And you call yourself wanting to make them yours, even though they weren't yours. And that was a dream that did not come to fruition. You broke the dream. But you married her, okay? You didn't make her be like a bastard or anything. But she didn't have any children by you. So it w you didn't have anything in wedlock or out of wedlock with her. But I, I bet you, I bet you, you probably was hoping, praying, wishing that that baby that she was carrying uh of the man you said she cheated with uh you were hoping that was your baby i know you did i know you did but guess what it wasn't yours and you couldn't tie her down you didn't have no connection she broke a clean uh break from you and y'all relationship now how y'all gonna see that's showing separatism right there y'all supposed to be a blended family but again you couldn't get it right then. You couldn't get it right with your first and second wife. Of course, would be the fourth, right? Yeah, fourth wife, y'all. Because Fallon was the third. Look at them two clowns. That's the two clowns, okay? Now, Portia, she's 40 years old. She shouldn't be really acting all like that, okay? But, yeah, I think this was his first wife. Couldn't get a better picture of her, but he didn't do right on that wife. He didn't do right on that wife. And see how you have a wet, you wear a bathing suit and it's kosher. You know what I'm saying? That's a woman who has class, style, and grace. All mm -hmm. right. Portia, she would have had just one titty hanging out and the other one to the air. Who, you know, she probably would have been bra braless thinking she's on a, a, a beach where it's, new, it's a nude beach. You know what I'm saying? That she fit right up, probably on, right up on in now. But that's the, the separation between class and trash. Okay. And Portia is looking very trashy out there these days. Not saying she can't improve her look for her age. And so she can get some respect. But we, we're not even going to talk about that anymore. We might take a talk about it next video, but not no more. Okay. So he can't get Fallon back. Even though in his wildest dreams and his hopes and desires, he wished he could have her back. But he's just going to play second fiddle with Portia. Okay? See? Look at them pictures. He's smooching all over. He probably tried to give her everything. And this, that, and the third. But it just is what it is. She wanted somebody her age group. She didn't want Papa Smurf all the time. Okay? The end of the world, man. Okay? Nope. And Miss, um, what is her name? God, dog it. Miss Jana. Miss Jana, wish you would take Portia off her hands so she don't have to worry about her no more. Dennis can get in a better relationship or not. And it just is what it is. But she need Portia to be gone, okay? She only want to see her granddaughter when she's supposed to see her granddaughter. And right now, she probably ain't seen her granddaughter. And that is a, 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 a nasty shame. But we didn't come here for all that. We came to figure out why in the world Simon Gabbardi wants to dress like a clown and then show up and prove in Atlanta of all places. Why would he want to emulate Dennis McKinley of anybody? Okay, Dennis McKinley don't really dress to the nines. He's just an everyday, hard-working man. And he can probably barely get on his jeans and a shirt. And at the time that he be going to and fro, going coastal, trying to make business deals, this and that, he just want to sit in a polo shirt or a nice shirt. Uh, really not even a nice shirt, but a nice cotton shirt, casual shirt, and some jeans, and him some loafers. And he's straight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Simon got to go around him, be butt naked and shit, and wearing a Versace robe. Now, how, who does that? Okay? And then he got Porsche as a puppet to do whatever he say, whenever he say, and however he say. Okay? Because he got a baby girl out there, not wearing her weave anymore. She's sporting much so her short hair. Because Simon said do it. So, uh, Portia's around there playing that Simon say do this, Simon say do that. Okay, Dirty Simon is trying to ruin Portia and she's letting him do so. Okay, she don't have no mind of her own. So, he pretty much tell her where to go, how to go, um, when to come back, and who to hang out with. Probably all those things that he couldn't get Fallon to do. Or Fallon got so tired 
of him trying to control her, manipulate her, she saw the light and said, let me get away from this man. Let me get away from this man. And Portia thinks she scored big time. Yeah, she scored big time. But this same big time millionaire, billionaire, however you want to see him, he has yet to wife her. Now, that is a tragedy within itself. So, we are canceling him and Portia. <laughs> We're going to throw them to the wind, okay, and pick them up when we feel like talking about them again. Because, okay, she had that one big massive hairstyle or hair show that she's showcasing her wig. Seventy five dollars a month. Come on over here, and she'll give you a piece of her life, a piece of her autobiography for free. <laughs> yes, Lord. Two sunken ships, Simon as well as Portia Williams. They just treading water. The boat is filling up with water, and they both are going to sink. If they really think that we believe this horse fairy tale, this foolish fakery for fraudulent fuckery of a relationship, okay? He's sitting up there drunk. She's sitting up there drunk. He getting a cow, the whole cow. Well, he just leasing the cow. Let's just say that. He getting benefits without even taking home the wife. And Portia can't understand that she's less than in his eyes. She is the mistress because he hadn't found his queen yet. Because you don't treat a queen like that. Or a predetermination of a queen that you finna get ready to wife. Now, I don't understand why Shamia always be close to somebody when she know Portia had messed around with her husband. How can you do that? How can you come in somebody's house, drink, drink their liquor or whatever, beverage of choice, eat their food, and then turn on this woman? Okay, because she knew Simon was fooling around. She knew Simon was fooling around with her best in Portia and didn't say nothing to that woman. Eating, drinking, and smoking hookah at her house. And Portia turning him out when she don't uh, turn her head. You see what I'm saying? So I tell you, which couple is winning? Y'all tell me. Is it Fallon and Jalen? <laughs> or is it Portia and Simon? Okay. Don't understand. Just just roll the footage of this man again. Thinking he is being better than Dennis. And Portia probably bought all those roads at a discount price. At least I'm hoping she did. I'm hoping she didn't pay $800 to 1000 for those robes. Okay. I'm hoping she wasn't that stupid. But then again, stupid is a stupid does, right? Dumb and dumber. That's what we're looking at. Dumb and dumber. All right, because ain't no way in the world that a billionaire is going to be acting like this in the public. You ain't going to see what they win. They could be straight butt naked, but they worth a trillion dollars. You see what I'm saying? This joking on about, oh, Portia, let's just say Portia bought them because she buys them everything of uh, riches. You know what I'm saying? She just spoils this man. And he's just showcasing the Versace Rose like he's somebody. And I'm like. Rich and famous people don't do that. They don't even give you a taste of where they're living and their inside digs. And this brother gonna sit up here like he done got this shit for Christmas and he got to show the world. What billionaire that you know do stuff like that? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Who is taking all these pictures of him and Portia? Who is it? Did he just have a photographer to come and just snap them? Well, it's Portia over there since she's not in there with him. But she was in there picture with Dennis and having a good time playing around in her baby's bedroom. I know y'all saw because I put the pictures in him. They would just, you know, we call it flossing for TikTok or the Instagram. But he up here flaunting himself. So that shows you right now. He's selfish and he loves himself. If he can put a cigar to his mouth and get that brown look, that probably been a straight pose. But hey, I guess she just wanted to get him in a photo op to go on and be able to post it on social media so we could see the comings and goings of Portia failing miserably, buying this man three colors of the Versace robe. Okay? And I priced them just to see. Kind of like, why is Dennis wearing this Versace robe? Okay. And I got to think about that. I said, let me look at that Versace robe. Let me see how much it costs. Those Versace robes go for 500 or more. 
okay depending on i guess the style and uh the color i saw one of them you know on ebay or whatever 5.95 don't know if it was used or not but they i think they can go up to 800 to a thousand dollars so i'm like did portia go to the jockey sale the flea market okay and purchase that or did it, did she purchase it on amazon like simon we are counseling you on the basis of you're trying to be like dennis mckinley next time we see you you're gonna be wearing one of them hats okay next time we see you you might have Portia up here, you know, with you, looking like a hoe. Just because it looked like she looked like a hoe trying to go on the stripper pole. Surprise, she don't have a stripper pole. You see what I'm saying? But, you know, Dennis had my phone. He's doing what he normally does, you know. But he didn't think you were going to copy him and sit up there and have a robe just like him. I mean, how 12-year-old is that? How 5-year-old is that? Come on, Simon. You can do much better than this. You definitely could wife Portia. That's what we've been waiting on. But we know why even wife when you're getting everything for free. And you don't have to even pay her if she don't want you no more. Because I'm sure she signed a contract with you. And if she don't put you on reality TV soon, from what I heard, allegedly, you ain't going to have nothing to do with her. You're going to have a closed case and you're going to be looking for your next victim to see what and where and how you can get their money. Okay. Now that's the same robe Dennis had. Oh. Um, why is Papa Smurf all the time uh, the end of the world <laughs> gentleman doing? What is he doing? He think he look good, y'all. He think he look good. Trying to be like Dennis McKinley. I I have heard it all. I've seen it all. Papa Smurf wants to do everything Dennis McKinley do. Dennis go out there and buy a Porsche. He will probably see a Porsche in um, Simon's garage. You know what I'm saying? Or on his property. Dennis go out there and buy a um, double-decker bus. Like from London. <laughs> or triple-decker bus. Simon will have it too in the same color. Isn't that weird? child simon is doing too much and i don't understand where he coming from i'm like simon 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 go back to the drawing board because dennis already did that with the robe situation he done had your girlfriend your fiance that's another dig okay and you don't have a child by Portia. And I know you probably can't even get it up. And the Viagra pills are probably not helping you. Because I'm pretty sure you tried. I'm pretty sure you tried. <laughs> and far as, far as we know, Portia go home at midnight before she turns into a pumpkin. We probably don't think she stays with you. Those are just optics she's trying to give us. She probably don't have any clothes in there. Or if she does, it's just a few that she could have thrown in her car and brought over there. Just for the symbolism that she may or may not be staying there. Okay, that's just like Michael Jackson had called himself Mary and Priscilla Presley. And we were supposed to believe that was a true marriage. That was a farce. This is a farce. But that's piss poor that you would go and not give that man his robe back. Because you should have been a man and said, Portia, give me the robe. And she should have given it to you. And he said, I'm going to get this back to Dennis because you shouldn't have had it anyway. If the relationship were over, you still got rid of all his stuff. Because you forget, I have a moving truck on speed dial. And when I get tired of you or we get tired of each other, we will move you back to the house that you came from. Okay? Almost like he was telling Portia, you came from the streets and to the streets you shall return. Okay? I will send you back. <laughs> like, this is just too much of a hot mess. All right? But he should be trying to chase out them uh Jalen style you know what i'm saying and get some pointers here and there because hey he thought he was doing uh fallon in by not showing up at home and talking about he wanted a divorce fallon had already moved to first second and third base and scored <laughs> and left his ditzy behind okay but he mad he ain't gonna show it too much portia may see it more than we see it but he ain't gonna show it in public until he get on his social media accounts and be fighting with Jayla. i'm like what grown-ass man they got millions want to do that he probably would have been a millionaire or a billionaire would have been thanking you to get his ex-wife off his you know behind okay 
didn't want him, didn't, didn't care for her no more, and it would have been it. No more conversations. Pictures would have been taken down on social media, in the house, and everything. Yep. Broken promises. And that's the same thing he's going to do to Portia if she hadn't seen it already. Broken promises, broken dreams, broken hearts. But that's all I have for this video, guys. I just had to come through with the cute, cute um, laughter of Simon trying to emulate, be like, transpose himself to a younger Dennis McKinley. <laughs> I'm like, of all the gentlemen in Georgia, you would try to be like, dress like, probably talk like. Dennis McKinley, Dennis McKinley, I salute you because you have a mini me running around now that's over, you know, over your age group in the senior citizens type population. And he like your style, low key. Instead of him just trying to hang out with you or whatever or make sure you get your baby girl whenever you want to get, you know, the baby girl. Because he probably... Parts probably come to him fussing about what Dennis want, what he wanted to come get the baby, this, that, and third. And instead of him saying, look, girl, you didn't get that baby by yourself. That's that man's child. You work out a doable schedule, okay? And he probably told her that, and she didn't listen to him, okay? Or maybe she did, and it failed miserably because she didn't um, implement it the way he probably told her to implement it. You see what I'm saying? So... Dennis doing the right thing. He's supposed to be going to court with her and let a judge decide their fate. And hopefully he'll prevail in Dennis's fate. But I wish it would be 50 50 because they need to both have expenses spent on a baby girl. Because if they were still together, it would be coming out of both accounts. You see what I'm saying? But knowing Portia, she probably would have just said, nah, you're going to take care of that. Let me just take care of this over him. Which probably would have been the bare minimum. But that's all I got for this video, guys. I just wanted to touch bases, have a little kiki with y'all, a little laugh before y'all jet off to work or y'all jet off into the bed to get your rest for the next day. Depending on whenever you're watching this video. So I salute you all. Y'all have a good day. Good afternoon. Good night. And I will see y'all next video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel. Please do so. At this time or before you leave the house. And definitely subscribe to the channel. Share and like my videos. Okay. I'll see y'all next time. Bye bye.